TikTok. Who been disrupting your peace this this morning, today, this week, or just period? Because, <laughs> baby, I'm telling you, your girl. I feel like I've been a ninja for like the last couple weeks. Like I've been, I yeah, what the what what? For real, for real, I've been like ninja chopping, kicking, all of that stuff. Like just attacks and just people and just things that could potentially get me out of my boundary okay um or that can get me out of a place of peace because i enjoy this place of peace too much to let anybody or anything try to get in the way of that and so all right uh y'all have to be a ninja but you know what i mean y'all gotta be blocking okay bobbing and weaving out here because the spiritual warfare out here is real if you know what i mean so proverbs fourteen thirty says that a hey, i got some notes over here so that's why i keep looking but a heart at peace gives life to the body but envy tag on envy rots the bones oh all right so let's keep going um <laughs> living in peace is what keeps us healthy but emotions, those daggone emotions, they disrupt our peace. But guess what they also do? They cause sickness. Too many negative emotions will literally put so much stress on your body. Too much of it over a long period of time will actually cause many illnesses, sicknesses, diseases. But break that word down, and I'm sure y'all have heard this before. A disease is nothing but a heart at dis-ease. Something that you at dis-ease about. Something that's just not sitting very well on your heart and on your soul, right? And so you got to be careful. Um, how many times, you know, or how many, uh, how many people do you know, right? That when you're around them, they just feel like peace. They just, their words, their, their voice, their tonality, their demeanor, they just, it just feels good to be around them. Like their presence is like everything. And can I tell you something? That's how God wants us to be. Not just wants us to be. That's literally the way that God created us to be. But you just have to remember that. Actually, you just have to know that, right? And if you're not at a place of peace right now, if you're not living in peace, it's okay. Because it is very possible to go on and switch over to the other side. Come on over. Come on. Because sometimes, you know, we'll be around that very peaceful person. As soon as we leave their presence, as soon as we leave that environment, whatever, it's like we go back to the drama, back to the toxicity, Back to walking through that door, whether it's your house, your job, wherever. Back to answering that phone call, you know, where, <laughs> yeah, or that toxic environment. And we're like, dang, like we end up going right back to that place that is just nothing but disruption, right? Treachery, turmoil. What I'm saying is back to being around those people and places that serve you no purpose. So what do we need to, need to do to get it? Let me tell you. Go on over to 1 Peter 3.11, where it says all you have to do. It says peace is something that we must. It ain't say maybe. It said we must uh, pursue, seek, and search. That's all you got to do. You got to pursue it. You got to seek it. You got to search for it. But the grease ball, in the grease ball, when I say grease ball, I mean the enemy, the devil, Satan, whatever you want to call him. Because he think he's oily, right? He think he's got the oil, as in like anointed. But that's the, that's look, that's that's the deceit right there. He's not oily, he's greasy. So when I say grease ball or anything about grease, I'm talking about the devil. All right, so the grease ball, okay, he intentionally will try to set you up all the time he be trying to set me up all the time too i told you i've been a ninja though right but he will intentionally do it um set you up or send people your way or put you try to you know put you in certain environments to throw you off track um so that you can fall back into your old ways but sometimes we say our old ways are not so old right they still a little fresh they still might be a little fresh you ever heard of somebody saying, I'm I'm holy and hood? Believe them when they say that, okay? Because <laughs> they believe in the word. They believe in God, 
okay but they they still got some places and some things that they need to be delivered from and i can truly i can identify with that <laughs> okay um and so just remember that the grease monkey okay he will still he will try to throw you off track you know, and, and being thrown off track is going back to saying things that we know we shouldn't say out of our mouth, doing things that we know that we daggone well should not be doing, right? But do you know why he does that? Do you know why he does that? If you ever heard of this, it's true. The devil, Satan, does nothing but try to steal, kill, and destroy, right? So you think you just got negative people in your life. You think you just arguing with somebody. You think you just thinking these negative thoughts about these people or the, this environment or this situation. And it's literally playing in a loop in your mind. You think it's just that. Like, I've always been this way. I can't stand these people. All these thoughts, right? <laughs> but what Greasy knows, the grease ball, he knows that a lack of peace literally destroys and erodes your health so people wonder why they have diseases illnesses sicknesses you know pains all of that stuff stomach issues whatever it may be child what are you going through what are you going through what is disrupting your peace what does not feel good you got to check that jc jesus jesus christ um he said that he he left us his peace. Isn't he the prince of peace? <laughs> and he left us his peace. Okay, so we got that. Um, but he did not leave us the peace that the world will try to give you. Um, because oh, because his own, he, but he left us his own special peace, right? And I think y'all can find that in John 14, 27. Um, so what that means is that we can control it. Because we already got it. We just got to tap in. Tap, tap, tap. Do that. Tap, tap. Tap into your place of peace by seeking the Prince of Peace. Come on now, B. Come on now, girl. <laughs> and then you can go on over to Ephesians 6, which tells us that we literally have to put on the armor of God to defeat these wicked powers what are the wicked powers the wicked powers is the spiritual warfare the things that you're fighting that you can't even see and staying peaceful literally is the best way to defeat the enemy oh grease ball if you know that he just wants us to be upset like that make that brings the devil joy so what, what we got to do the opposite the complete opposite okay so let me wrap this up real quick uh, the fact that JC, Jesus Christ, I call him JC. All right. Um, the fact that he's the Prince of Peace, right? Literally, he will help you experience peace at all times. Not sometimes, not when he wants to, not when he feel like it, but literally at all times. If you're listening, you have to, li you got to be listening, right? You got to have the ears to hear. Um, and also, if you let him guide you in every situation, not just in some moments, you know, when you're experiencing the treachery and the turmoil, but in all experience, even the good ones as well. Um, so last and not least, but, you know, as soon as you feel angry, just start praying, y'all. Just all you got to do is just talk just like this. This is how I, this is how I pray. This is how I talk to God, you know, Um and you just ask God to help you just to calm down. Literally asking the Holy Spirit, which is like your BFF if you don't know it. Holy, your Holy Spirit is always with you. But again, tapping into the spirit inside of you, girl, or guys, people, TikTok, is going to be the best thing that you could ever do in your life. Because Holy Spirit will give you the words to say. Holy Spirit will give you the thoughts to think. Holy Spirit will stop you in your tracks like, uh-uh, we're not doing that. We're not going back. We're not going to be fooled by old grease ball. And so I just want to leave you guys with that because you already have peace. If anybody's feeling unpeaceful or like they've been attacked or people just don't understand them or whatever, tap into the word, tap into God, tap into Jesus, tap into that Holy Spirit, tap into your true self, the way that God created you to be. Woo! And that is the peace that surpasses all understanding. Love y'all.